Yes indeed, friends and neighbors. Welcome down to Banjo Bonanza today. We're so glad that you could join us. Thanks for coming on back. I hope you had a good weekend and that uh, things were okay for you since we last got together. And if things were a little rougher than expected, well, we're glad you're tuning in today for a pick-me-up because like I said, anytime you tune into Banjo Bonanza, it literally is a picking and grinning thing. So to get you grinning right off the right off the bat here, we got the High Strong Hillbilly Hamsters. They are coming back uh, as per Captain Crawfish's uh, uh, contract, and we just love having these guys. And as you can tell, we got Froggy Winter Basin. He's he's a permanent member of the band now. The chemistry is just so good. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it right off, friends. I'm so glad that you could come down here to Banjo Bonanza. Let's hear it for our opening act. They've already got the moonshine going right here. Woo! The High Strung Hillbilly Hamsters. They're gonna fire it off. I'm gonna back on out and. Let them do their thing. Strong Hillbilly Hamsters tearing it up here on the Polzac Ponderosa with Froggy on bass. We're so glad that Froggy's joining us these days. Hey, all right. How about a hand for our opening act right here? Cheers, you guys. I'm taking a little snort here, too. Woo! Oh, that's some good stuff. Oh, man. I put a pep in your step and a glide in your stride. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm going to move these guys on over here. Thank you, guys. And, uh, well, it's already out of the case right now, but I'm going to pick up Happiness in a Case, which is the Larry Cohe 5 string that I am so proud to be uh, playing for you guys today and, and every day, really. This is, an, this is an amazing, amazing banjo. I've, as you can tell, I've owned a lot of guitars and do have a lot of guitars in the collection, but this is, uh, I only have one banjo, and it's this Larry Cohe banjo. And later in the show, I'm going to show you a picture of a very young Mitch with uh, Larry Covey when, uh, when I picked up this banjo when he made it for me. So that's, that's pretty doggone special. Right on, you guys. And uh, I'm going to put a little echo on here. That's because there's, uh, there's some new footage out uh, by Chris McGee of Bop Flicks Films uh, uh, where we uh, did a, uh, a shooting of the song I wrote called Banjo Billy at Viva Las Vegas, and uh, it's, uh, it's Scott Hines and Michael Sapienza on there. Michael Sapienza is a great drummer, uh, plays a lot with Roy Wilson, actually. So he's, 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 a, he's a buzzard as well, friends, which is pretty cool. And Scott Hines is just such a genius mu musician. He plays with so many different people. Definitely, definitely check him out. But we're excited that, that's, uh, that Chris has put that up there. You can hear how Banjo Billy sounds with the band, which is pretty happening. All right, put this thing in even better tune than it already is. As we're about to take off here on Banjo Bonanza. There we go. I'll put a little Sonic Neo Sporn on there. Oh yeah, now, now we're ready to go. Yes, yes, yes. All righty, friends. Well, I'm just going to get right on into it right now to go ahead and pick one for you. And uh, let, let me start out with uh, with the Charlie Horse Stomp. I've been loving this one. It's a standard on the show. Woo wee! There we go. Go. 
problem solved. Charlie horse stomp. The banjo had a little Charlie horse there. I had to massage it. <laughs>
right. Cheers to your friends today. <clears throat> let's see. Today Marlene picked out the glass for me today. Today's the, the Grand Canyon mug. On a trip to the Grand Canyon. I took a long time ago. So cheers to your friends. I know, I, this one was just fancy and decorative. So I, as you can tell, I like, to, I like to decorate things. You know, the lily is invented to be gilded, in my opinion. There's no such thing as too much chrome. No such thing as too much rhinestones. You know, just, it, that's, yeah, you just can't go wrong gilding the lily, friends. So cheers to gilding the lily, yes. All right. Here's one that uh, I've done on guitar a few times. Now I'm going to do on banjo. film that we did uh, for the uh, Banjo Billy song is tuning in right now. Everybody make him welcome. Michael, we're so glad you could join the jerk-free zone of the Polzac Ponderosa and uh, that uh, you're, you're tuning in here today, man. I miss playing with you. So folks, uh, hey Roy, thanks a lot for introducing me to Michael. He is, he is a great guy to play with. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roy Wilson, who is also tuning in, has uh, has has introduced me to Michael. And, you know, if people are hanging with Roy, chances are they're pretty good people and they're pretty good musicians. And that's just the start. I'm putting a little buckle guard in here. I don't want to scratch up my banjo. There we go. So, since Michael's tuning in, I thought I'd go ahead and tune up to A here so we can do some banjo billy. Man, Michael, my cousin Ryan loves this song. He requests it quite a bit, which makes me very happy. And it's an original number too, man, so... Playing it with you and Scott that day was quite a privilege. So when you check out the video, friends, Michael Sapienza takes a great drumming break. And Scott Hines has a great slap bass solo too. It's happening. It's happening. It's on. There we go. Yes. 
Yes. All right, Michael. Got to put a little bit of that that echo on here, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take off the uh, the reverb. There we go. I'm gonna put a little bit more echo on there. Why the hell not? So, friends, uh, this is celebrating the great work of uh, filmmaker and documentarian and photograph. Uh, photographer extraordinaire Chris McGee from Botflix Films. Check out his uh, his work. He chronicles all over the globe, uh, capturing in performances from incredible musicians. And I'm honored just to be on that list. So it's a pretty cool thing. Here's one called Banjo Billy. Michael, let's 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 do it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, play along with Michael Sapienza right now on this one. Here we go. Because it's beating there. Here we go.
Ah, Michael, so glad you're tuning in, man. That was so much fun playing that with you. I can't wait to play with you again. Cheers to you and Mr. Scott Hines for uh, doing that video with me. I'm, I'm honored that I got to play with you. This is the uh, this this is the Grand Canyon glass, by the way, guys. So, uh, big toast from out west here. Yes, indeed. From out west, a big toast. There we go. That's good speech writing. You just say things, you know, different order, gets the same point across. All right. Oh, Glenn Doyne, I'm so glad you're tuning in. Glenn, I know you had this uh, uh, request for your lady. And uh, uh, last Banjo Bonanza, I didn't get that message until after the show. But uh, I'm so glad you're tuning in again so that uh, I can do this one for you. And that's what, uh, you know, these requests are ri written down by Marlene. And I know sometimes they get backlogged. But I always do my best to make sure that at some point I will get to it. And if I don't get to it right, right away, it's only because I don't know the tune well enough to present it. Because I don't want to disrespect the tune or your request. And I see also that Bob Severin has requested Tom Dooley again. Oh man, that one's coming along. I've been, uh, I'm about three quarters of the way through with that one, Tom. I've been uh, listening to Frank Prophet's version, of course. And um, I've been listening to uh, a few others, too, just because... That's what's so great about this music is there's lots of variation. And I'm, I'm kind of picking and choosing different verses to put in. And so I'm coming up with my own arrangement. So that one's almost ready, but it's on the list. Thanks for requesting that. All right. Cool. All right, Glenn. I'm glad you're here, man. We're going to get to your request right now. Some good old Mountain Dew. Let's do it for our buddy Glenn tuning in right now. Thanks for the request, Glenn. <laughs> Yeah! 
happens if you snort a little Mountain Dew. All sorts of stuff happens. Friends, I'm so glad you're here on Banjo Bonanza. Let me take time to welcome who we got tuning in. Mr. Bob Powell has returned from his voyage to San Diego. Bob, I hope the voyage was excellent and that you got some, actually I know you had some good times, man, with some margarita drinking and some taco eating and some good times and, and double digit temperatures instead of triple digit temperatures. And uh, Liz is here, all right. Hello, Liz. Big hugs to you. I love you. And Dominique is here. All right, Dominique. I'm glad you're tuning in. We got to do two dollar bill. Dominique's earworm. And of course, Roy, ladies and gentlemen. Roy is here. Mr. Roy Wilson, whose shows are on Wednesday. We can't wait to tune in tomorrow. Roy, I specifically don't start lessons until eight o'clock tomorrow, so that I can get in to see some of your show. Chris and Tracy are here. Welcome, you guys. Stalwarts and anchors of our community. And Lizzie B is here. Liz, Lizzie B is, is uh, not feeling too good these days. She, uh, she she doesn't have COVID, but she's she she's got she's uh, under the weather. So give Lizzie B some love. She needs it right now, friends. And Mr. Frank Geffen is here. Frank, welcome. Mary Wheeler. All right. Madeline Christopher. Yeah. Nanook from New Zealand. Hey, Nanook. Old Joe Clark. I guess we got to do because you're here, and I love that. B K Wong. Welcome, B K. Jack Weldon. Sarah and Ryan Polzak, Perfect Attendance Award from Northern Wisconsin. Mr. Robert Williams, Big Sandy, I miss you, man. I was sad to see West Coast Ramble have to go off the air, but uh, I would like to tell the folks watching right now that you can still watch uh, episodes of West Coast Ramble, and uh, Big Sandy brought on quite a few great, great musicians, people, and he interviews them, uh, and it's they, they play fantastic music. Look up West Coast Ramble. You can still contribute to that. But a, a big uh, a big shout out to you, Robert. You do so much for the music, and you've been doing it for so long, man. That picture of you standing in front of the United States with your guitar, uh, that resonated with me a lot with, our, with where we're at right now. But I love you, man, and I'm glad we're friends. Even though we don't see each other that much, if the connection is still very strong, and you're a musician and person who I respect. So... Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you. And our friend Jason Williams is here too. Beth Emerson is here also. Uh, they, they've been wanting some surf banjo. Well, guys, I've been working on it. After the, our last uh, uh, banjo bonanza, it definitely became a thing. So as promised, I'm building up a repertoire. So in a, one week from today, I'll have some surf banjo ready for you. It's been fun putting that together. And uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be fun. So thanks for that request. And, uh, all right, let's, let's do the $2 bill. Lizzie B., I'm so happy to do this for you. I want to do uh, any song that can lift your spirits right now because that's what the Polzak Ponderosa is about. It's a jerk-free zone where you come get your spirits lifted, friends. I'm going to put this back in A, the Canadian key. All right, friends, there we go. All right, this, is, this has become a staple and a standard. A staple and a standard right here on our show, so I imagine you guys know it by this point. Let's all get along with a $2 bill, shall we? We're going to send this one out to, to Lizzie B, who requested this one and, and needs a little extra love these days. There we go, there we go. Lost all my money but a $2 bill, Lizzie. $2 bill, boys, $2 bill, Big Sandy. Lost all my money but a two-dollar bill, Roy. I'm on my long journey home. Well, I lost all my money but a two-dollar bill. I know, Mix, how do you think I know? Yona comes, my sweetheart, how do you think 
two dollar bill, two dollar bill, boys, two dollar bill. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill, and I'm on my long journey home. right there. Thanks for requesting and tuning in even though you're under the weather. We hope that everything goes okay for you and I know folks are expressing a lot of love here on the Ponderosa for you. Well since I'm in A, well actually this has nothing to do with the reason I'm in A. However, I would like to share with you because I know a lot of you folks like me love pictures. I've been digging through some great pictures and I found this one when I was, let's see, I still had long hair. Robert, you remember those days. <laughs> so does Chris Evans. Chris, I listened to GTO Swing for the first time in like 20 years last night at my buddy Country Ham's house. I might have to re-invoke that tune into the set list. So here is, I was probably 19, 20 right here. And this is my buddy Larry Cohey. This is the guy who made this banjo. And this is when I, I, I picked it up from him. Larry is, a, is, is an amazing luthier. He's an amazing singer, an incredible banjo player, an excellent bass player, and an all-around really, really, really amazing guy. Larry Cohe is his name, and uh, he is very dear to my heart. And that's, that's why I, only I have one banjo, friends, and I've always, I'm always looking for other banjos, but uh, just, I haven't played one that, that gets me like this one. So this is also a big thanks to Larry. You know, 20 years later, Larry, I'm, I'm still playing the banjo you made for me. And I've taken it around the world. I've shared the stage with a lot of great musicians with this banjo. And now it's, it's uh, providing a uh, much needed uh, source of joy, music, and income right here in the Banjo Bonanza. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Some, uh, some, when I picked up my banjo and Larry made it for me. All right. So now in the key of A, let's, let's do a... Uh, Let's do some little Maggie, shall we? Chain. I'm gonna dance for a little man. 
friends. Thank you so much. Well, right now, I'd like to read a passage. Uh, I know it sounds rather biblical, but it is. Because I'm pulling out a Bible of music right here, and that is the Anthology of American Folk Music. Otherwise, it's just known as the Anthology. I got this, I showed this once before, and uh, I, I got this from my mom when I was in high school. And I was 17 when she gave this to me. And I, when I opened it up, I shared this with Dominique in our lesson. So I saw the title, The Old Weird America. If that doesn't get your attention, I don't know what will. So check this out, friends. I'm going to read this to you twice because it's so good. And it, uh, it talks about American music. The whole bizarre package made the familiar strange, the never known into the forgotten, and the forgotten into a collective memory that teased any single listener's conscious mind. I'm going to read that again. The whole bizarre package made the familiar strange, the never known into the forgotten, and the forgotten into a collective memory that teased any single listener's conscious mind. or conscious mind? Yes, it has gotten into mind since I first heard the old recording of Wade Ward play that song. It's a song called June Apple. And uh, check out Mr. Wade Ward's version of that song. It is so doggone good. And another uh, great banjo player to check out, Lily Mae Ledford. Mr. Bob Powell, I'm so glad you're back. 
I was trying to do some of the, of, of the uh, Bob Powell postings of, of musicians in the comments last time, and I've just, uh, I've just missed your, your presence, but that vacation was much needed. So Lily Mae Ledford, it's a name that uh, is not on the radar most of the time, but check out her stuff. Oh my gosh, so good. So amazingly good. She does a version of, of White Oak Mountain, White Oak Blues. Holy moly, it's incredible. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I heard it uh, last night. Marlene and I were listening to the music. And uh, I'm going to be learning that one too. All right, well, I'm in the key of A here. It's time for another sing-along. Let's, let's, let's do our weekly, uh, weekly gospel check-in for uh, Down to the River to Pray, guys and gals and friends and neighbors. I always like singing this one with you. It feels, feels good to connect with you. Let's go down, let's go down, come on down. 
free zone and a picking and a grinning type place on Tuesdays and a anything goes place on Fridays. Oh yeah. Cool. I'm going to do one more in A here. I'm, time for another rip snorting instrumental here. And uh, then we've got some more requests. All right. All right. I love, I've been doing this one a lot lately and I'm just loving it. And Ryan requested it. And Ryan, since you requested it, I just make, I've been making it part of the shows, man. It's the Pike County Breakdown. Ah, the Grand Canyon Mug, serving well today. <laughs> that one too of TNM guitars look up TNM guitars friends the, uh, Terry is a master luthier he made uh, he restored that old guild artist award that I have into the amazing super 200 friends if you're enjoying the show and uh, and, and you're able go ahead and uh, express a little financial enthusiasm right now this will uh, this will this will really help us out uh, they're they're not opening up anything anytime soon so as for now, the, uh, all of the festivals that I was booked at through the end of the year have been canceled. 
And uh, when you set up festivals, those are like, you know, when you're sailing, those are like financial tacking points. So you're like, okay, this year I can, I'll, I'll make it if I do this festival, this festival, this festival, and then do a lot of, of shows in between. And unfortunately, that is no longer. So friends, you are our lifeline right now. And uh, we appreciate anything that you can do. And also, share the show. That doesn't cost a doggone thing, and it's super easy to do. And we love inviting more people into the jerk-free zone that is the Polzac Ponderosa. And you can share it right now even. Just there's that little arrow uh, at the screen that you can click on. And just it, let, let people know about that, which is, uh, which is awesome because this is a, a special thing that we're building here. And Marlene and I absolutely love doing this for you. And we appreciate uh, keeping the wheels greased. As you've noticed, we don't have to change batteries anymore. The uh, wall charger finally came. It was back ordered and uh, very, uh, you know, not cheap because they're in demand. But what we're also doing with it, with the financial enthusiasm, is we're reinvesting it into the show. And, uh, you know, we're both frugal people anyways, but it, so frugality is not an issue. But it's really cool to be able to reinvest into the show. Uh, that's something that we want to keep building and have this be a wonderful experience. So we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for investing in this show in any way you can. And just the fact that you're here is number one. I love that, friends. You are here helping to create the Jerk Free Zone. And good news, friends. Uh, I've gotten, uh, we've gotten some t-shirt orders, and, and you've already uh, uh, paid for those, which is great. So I'll be getting those out. Hopefully we'll be getting, those, getting, getting the, the, the bulk order by, uh, by the, the weekend, if not, it's not uh, later. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know, because some of you have already prepaid, which is great, and uh, that the shirts will be on their way. So I will, I will do a posting, so you're not sitting there wondering, going, huh, I wonder where that shirt is. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if you ordered and it's not there, just, just remind me and uh, I'll see what I can do to make sure that you get it. And we are also selling vintage compact discs. As you see, this is the commercial part of the show. Some of this music that you're hearing right now is on a vintage compact disc, friends, which you can order. And I will sign for you and to you to make that happen. All right. So we've got Nanook would like to hear the fish taco song. You got it, Nanook. Let's do that. And uh, I would love to do that one for you. And Ronnie, would, Ronnie Crutcher would like to hear Clinch Mountain Backstep. Oh, yeah. You know what, Ronnie? I'm in the key of A right now. And that's a, such a similar tune to uh, uh, Pike County Breakdown. That, that, that's a good one to follow it up, man. That's, that's, a, that's a good medley right there. So I used to sing all my instrumentals. So I'm going to whip my whistle so I can not sing this instrumental. Ah, ooh, it's a good year. Here we go. By request for our friend Ronnie. Ronnie, thanks for requesting this, man. This is the second banjo tune I ever learned how to play. Written by the great Ralph Stanley.
Thanks, Ronnie. Holy moly, friends. We're at bag fry time already. Should we do bag fries? What do you say? I'm, Marlene and I are, are ready. Like, we've got, like, let's see, four ice packs around the, around the computer. She's fanning it. We've got a little, you know, computer fan. I'm hydrated. I'm energized. I love you guys. Yeah, bag fry time. Heck, Timothy Orr just tuned in. Timothy, or else, Timothy, you got here in time for bag fries, man. I, I, I think uh, I, I think we're going to do some bag fries. Steve says yes. Tracy says yes. Tracy DeVos says bag fries, please. Let's do some onion rings, too. Mr. Bob Powell says woo -hoo. Uh It's almost to that point where I expect fish and chips at the bottom of my bag now. <laughs> Tracy, I love fish and chips so much. And that's one thing that I haven't been making around the, the house. It's because it, it smells like, you know, if you beer batter fish in a, in a small kitchen, it'll smell like that for like a week. But that might be, you know what? I'll just have to do it outside like in a pr big Bunsen burner like that. Thanks for hanging in for bag fries, you guys. So since we're talking about bag fries, we had a request for the fish taco song. From Nanook. And then we're going to do Man of Constant Sorrow. By, that was a request from Beth Emerson. So we got two, we got two to look forward to here. I love sing along and bag fry times. So if you're making, I know uh, Tuesdays is fish taco nights for some of you. So let's let's do that right now. There we go. I 
think I might do a little uh, quick video of me changing strings in the next couple of days because it's time to do that. In constant sorrow, all through his days, I am a man, and a constant sorrow, I've seen trouble all through my days, I bid farewell to old Kentucky, shout out to my lovely lady and our producer and our director Marlene right now who is uh, running Hillbilly NASA here at the Polzak Ponderosa keeping things cool while remaining incredibly hot because that's just how she rolls and uh, she's been putting in a lot of research and time to get this organized and, and improve this so big round of applause she's doing a great job she's writing down all your requests telling me who's here and I just love working with her and at the Ponderosa we at Team Eminem. <laughs> Team Eminem. Do, 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 do. Love bringing you these shows. So, big round of applause for Marlene. She is amazing, friends. In every way, somebody can be amazing. Honey, thank you. I love you too, honey. All right. AJ is here. Yes, AJ and Jeff the Full Moon Moon and Mr. Shelby Ash. All right, you guys. Uh, Welcome down to the show. AJ, Bob is back, and uh, my sister-in-law Liz is, is, is watching. So let's, let, let's do our, just like we do a gospel check-in, let's do our, uh, another form of gospel check-in. Let's do our, 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 our slow banjo tune check-in. I'll pick some, pick old Birch for you, the original. I can't wait to play this one on a lake in northern Wisconsin with my banjo. And if I can't fly with my banjo, Ryan, I might politely ask to borrow yours. I'll bring my own picks, though, just to pick this one. 
And then just maybe record playing the song I wrote thinking about being on a lake in northern Wisconsin. Record it actually there. It's kind of like recording in Muscle Shoals or something in the water. It's magic. Birch. I love doing that. We had a fish on the line in that one too. I saw one of those 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 perch, Ryan. Oh man. I could go for some beer battered perch on a Friday. Ooh, yeah. Alright. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. And uh, Tracy would like to uh, dedicate a song to her friend Mike Troll, who's in the hospital. Dang. I hope Mike, if you're if you're tuning in that you're getting better soon, Tracy. Please send all the love that is in this amazing community of the Polzac Ponderosa, the Jerk Free Zone, to Mike. That's what's so great about the collective power of positive energy, friends. Remember, there's no such thing as bad energy, just energy badly used. So let's use what we're building here in every good possible way we can. And just by showing up and creating this, you guys are doing it. I love it. So let's, let, let's dedicate this to Mr. Mike Troll, Troll, quote unquote, who's uh, hopefully on his way to recovery soon. Tracy, thanks for that request. That's, I love sending out music, especially to somebody who's in hard times. So it's a sing-along right now, friends. Another sing-along, the old crawdad hole by request. Thanks, Tracy. <laughs> 
recovery man speedy and full recovery Hank is here all right ladies and gentlemen my musical older brother my collaborator and uh, just a dear dear friend of over 20 years and fellow bandmate mr. Hank Manninger is uh, tuning into the show today Hank I'm so glad you're here man I've missed playing with you something fierce I was glad we got to do a high tide trio in the back of a pickup truck in front of the riptide that was so refreshing to play with you man and just to get your energy like that. Hank's got great energy. Please, you know, let, say hello to Hank, friends. He's, he's here. He's a great musician. And uh, all right, Hank, I, I'd, I'd like to, let's, let's do one that we do together, man. I'm going to send this one out to my friend Hank. He and Les and I normally do this one together. It's a Stanley Brothers number called How Mountain Gals Can Love, where we do three-part. Here we go for my friend Hank Manninger. <laughs> Thinking of you and 
Stanley Brothers tunes with you, man. All right. And Beth Emerson, yes, I have heard of Pembine, Wisconsin. It's one of those things you see it on a railroad sign, or not railroad sign, street sign. You always want to say Pembine, like that. And uh, yeah, I, I do know of that. I passed it uh, a few times, actually, on ways to different family reunions that we've had all across the, uh, the northern part of the state there. And Ryan can tell you all about Pembine, too. So, Ryan, I'm sure that there is something about Pembine, I don't know, that maybe is interesting. Or if there's nothing interesting, at least we can say we know where it is. <laughs> That's Marlene's laugh right there. Isn't that a beautiful laugh? I love it. All right. So, uh, let's see. Shelby's inquiring about Arthur, oh, man, Arthur Guitar Boogie and Bluegrass Boogie Smith. Tell you what. Uh, he is a great, great uh, hero of mine, as well as a lot of other folks. Arthur Guitar Boogie and Bluegrass Boogie. So, you know what I'm going to do for you right now, Shelby? I'm going to go ahead and pick a song I wrote called Mitch's Banjo Boogie. And I love playing this one. And like I said, with the social distancing, Hank and I still haven't had a chance to get together and fine-tune this. But, Hank, know that uh, this is something that I would love to fine-tune with you, especially the B part. I usually come up with a pretty smoking A part, and then Hank comes up with a pretty smoking B part, and we put that together, and magic just happens. So I'm going to put a little bit of a little bit of delay on here for that ultra boogie sound. There we go. Hot damn. That's boogie time. And I'll turn down a little bit of the sonic neosporin, otherwise known as reverb. Here's a number I wrote. Here we go, Shelby. This is a, in honor of uh, Arthur Guitar Boogie and Bluegrass Boogie Smith. And I also th was thinking about Roy Clark when I wrote this one, too. So to, for Mr. Roy Clark as well, one of my entertainment and musician heroes. <laughs> we're going on 
on this show, and you can do it. Uh, we'd like to encourage you to express a little bit of financial enthusiasm, friends, and go ahead and invest in the continuation of the show if you can. Uh, that is literally keeping us going. That's just a fact. And we appreciate that so much. And if times are tough, share the show. That doesn't cost a dang thing, and it feels good to do. And it lets people know that uh, this show is shaking. So we, we encourage you to do that. It's so easy. A little arrow button, you can click on it. If it you know, it, it's like being proactive, too. Click. I just put more music out into the world or help share something that I believe in. Your voice is heard when you do that, friends. And we want to make sure your voice is heard at the Polzac Ponderosa. We'd like to thank you all those two who have uh, pre-ordered the Jerk Free Zone t-shirts. Thank you very much. And uh, um, that's, uh, I can't wait to get those out to you. I will let you know as soon as we have them in hand. And uh, for those who have prepaid, I've even written up already your shipping address. So like, all we have to do is just put it in a shirt, drive the country squire up to the post office, and put it in the mail. Yes, I do uh, post office runs in my 75 country squire because it's a good car to do that in. So uh, it also has Washington plates. I haven't registered it yet, so it's, uh, it's, I just take it from here to there and there to back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's registered. It's all good to go. But uh, sometimes it feels like that. All righty, friends. I'm going to keep on trucking here. And uh, thank you for that request. Yes, and uh, as we said earlier, uh, next Banjo Bonanza is going to be the Surf Banjo uh, episode because there seems to have been enough interest that I just won't alienate all the listeners by playing uh, some surf banjo. Hank, I'm gonna do some surf banjo next week, man. Um, that would be that would that would be awesome to somehow do some surf banjo with you. So surf banjo is gonna happen next week. Um, Beth a a Emerson and uh, J uh, Jason actually. Uh, sponsored that uh, via uh, the, the old-fashioned analog way of it, financial enthusiasm. They, they mailed a check. So if you want to do analog financial enthusiasm, friends, you can do that too. Direct message me and I'll tell you where to send it. And uh, so a big thanks to them because it's going to take me uh, uh, some time to sit down and work all this out on the banjo. I haven't actually done it other than making it up on the spot, but I want to deliver it as best I can. So thanks for, for investing in surf banjo next week. Yes, Bob Powell, Pirate Bob. Arr. Oh, man. That's right. Where does a pirate keep his buccaneers? Under his bucket hat. <laughs> I told that to Marlene in the grocery store yesterday, and she just shook her head and walked away. I said, I don't know that guy. It's just some big five, six foot five nut pod who happens to be in the same line as me. <laughs> oh, man. Round of applause for Marlene, ladies and gentlemen. Keeping things going, and with a laugh and a smile. A smile so beautiful you can hear it, and a laugh that's just pure music. <laughs> Woo! All right, so let's uh, let me see what else. What, uh, let me check out in, a, in 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 D here. Cool, here's a real pretty one. I haven't played this one in a while, friends. I'd like to do it for you right now. It's an old time fiddle song that I worked up on the banjo. One called Bumblebee in a Jug. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bumblebee in a jug. Yes, indeed. Thank you, friends. Oh, yeah. Mr. Jeff Moon, I'm so glad that you're still on board for the surf banjo. I know we discussed it uh, last episode, and I wanted to bring it home this episode. Hell, yeah. Mr. Jeff Moon is a great bass player. Also played in a, in a, in a EL84, I believe, which was a band that did a lot of spaghetti western and surf stuff. Just hand in hand with what we'd like to do. All right. Well, let's see here now. I might uh, go for another water and uh, keep myself hydrated and then keep the, keep the bag fries going since you're all hanging strong. Right arm, right? Right arm, as Marlene would say. Cool. Well, let's do this. How about the old barnyard classic, Pig in a Pan? <laughs> plus six. How do you like that math? All right. I don't know. Well, the 11 string strip. Thank you, Penny. Well, let me see if I can make that up. Well, it's, it's an actual song. Oh, cool. Then I'm going to look that up. Hot dog. Thanks, Ronnie. Man, Ronnie, you were, you, you were digging the, 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 the Cripple Creek um, arrangement that I did, and I so appreciated your kind email uh, asking about that. What I'll do is I'll, I'll pick it again for you, and uh, I, I was making up some stuff, because I know you and I were talking about that one variation, and then there was some other stuff that, that I did. I can't remember what I did, so I'll play it again and see if anything, see what else comes to mind. I'd like to welcome Ronnie Crutcher to the show. Thanks for tuning in again, Ronnie. Fellow musician, it's always it's always a blast to play this music for a fellow musician as well. And Larry Rosales is here. Larry, all right from up in Quincy. Yeah, welcome, Larry and Laura. Good to see you guys. Big hugs to you both. Big hugs to you both. All right, Ronnie, let me let's do some Cripple Creek right now. Very first banjo song I ever learned how to play, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Thank you. 
shows uh roy and dave stuckey turned us on to your shows and right as becky lynn does some shows every day she uh and, and your, uh, your banjo uke got me really excited i love anything banjo i'm actually gonna get this uh 20s orpheum four string restored friends check it out it's arch top banjo it's uh neglected for a long period of time but i got a hell of a good deal on it and I can't wait to do some four string for you. Look at that work. Isn't that beautiful? Craftsmanship, friends. There is no substitute for craftsmanship in anything. I love craftsmanship. I was excited to show that to you guys. That's an oldie. But it's going to sound good once that's done. <laughs> Hendrix on banjo. Well, let me see what I can do with that. Uh, you know what I'll do with that? Let me, uh, here, here's what I'll do with that. Okay. Like Ryan's dad, my Uncle Tim would say, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Now wait now, now wait now. I'm gonna do this, friends. We had a request for Hendrix on banjo. Let me see if I can, if, if I can make this work here. This is gonna be an experiment, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, here we go. Let's, let, let's see what happens here, friends. Let's see what happens. I'm going to mess with this tone a little bit. Oh, there we go. I think we're getting somewhere. Woo! All right, we're going on an adventure now.
the strings to do it with my teeth. on banjo mixed in with like some thorough good mixed in who knows what that that was that was a musical gumbo adventure right there friends thanks for uh th thanks for taking that trip with me that was a blast you just never know what's going to happen on the ponderosa because i never know what's going to happen on the ponderosa <laughs> neither does marlene we just we just roll with it as best we can but you know what it is it's the excitement of getting to connect with you it's the excitement of live music, of trying something new every show. And uh, that's, that's, that's a blast to be able to do. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for about 10 more minutes, which will be good. We've got bag fries heavy right now. Bag onion rings, mm -hmm. bag fish and chips, Tracy. Beer batter, not breaded. Better. Mm. Okay. I'd like to be able to. Uh, Brian Cisco's here, and Brian would like to hear Rocky Top. Hey, another sing along. Yes. All right, Brian. We appreciate you tuning in, man. Let's all get down to some Rocky Top, shall we? I'm gonna turn down. There, the air is a little thin up in Rocky Top. We don't want to get uh, high altitude cerebral edema, otherwise known as altitude sickness or swelling of the brain. All right, here we go with Rocky Top.
One pity life can't be simple again. Once two strangers climbed on rocky top, looking for a moonshine still. Strangers ain't come down from rocky top, I reckon they never will. Corn won't grow at all on rocky top, dirt's too rocky by far. That's why all the folks on rocky top get their corn from a job. Yeah, right. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. snow friends because rain and snow happens on rocky top uh my sister well liz loves this one i know aj and bob tracy this is a song that i just as you probably noticed i like to make part of every single show because it's very important to play this song here's one i hope you all enjoy friends one called rain and snow
Rain and snow, friends. Rain and snow. I was like seeing, watching the rain fall a little differently every time on that number. Friends, we're going to come in for a landing right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to Banjo Bonanza and making this a thing. Uh, this Friday, on live from the Pon Polzac Ponderosa, I'm going to do, uh, the feature will be an hour of acoustic guitar. So in addition to your excellent requests, uh, that I will try to get to everyone, and if I don't know it, uh, I'll either let you know or we can find another artist, because your requests mean a lot, and we really would like to do our best to honor those. So yeah, I'll be pulling, up, pulling out the, a couple of acoustics, actually, and doing some, some cross-picking, some Carter scratch, some old ballads, some, uh, some old fun tunes, some Doc Watson. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens on our show. So friends, thank you also. We appreciate you doing a little financial enthusiasm for these shows as best you can. And uh, let's, uh, let's all come in right now and we can share the show. All right. So let's go ahead and see. What would you like to end it on, honey? Let's do an up-tempo number to end it on. on Cluck Old Hen. That one just grooves hard. I, I know we Train 45 is, a, is, is, is one that we like to take it out on, but let's see what happens on Cluck Old Hen. I just love getting down to the groove with your friends. I'm in a key of G if you want to play along. It's like just one or two chords. If you're on the wrong chord, go to the other chord. You'll, then you'll have it. You'll be set. <laughs> friends, thanks for tuning in. Remember to check out Roy Wilson's show. Remember to check out Becky Lynn's show. Remember to support your artists, whether local or far, if they are trying to make a living, go ahead and help them out. We appreciate you helping us keep this show going. Without any further ado, cluck old hand. Let's set it, let's let's go out on this one, friends. <laughs>
pleasure having you, friends, on the Polzak Ponderosa today for Banjo Bonanza. A big thanks. Marlene and I love you. We wish you the best. And we'll see you Friday at Live from the Polzak Ponderosa Acoustic Hour. <laughs>